in Winfield Middle School and welcome to the Crow's Nest. I'm Charlie Cade and I'm Kaysen and today is Monday, March 9, 2020. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. Our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about forgiving honest mistakes. Forgive and forget. Once we have forgiven someone for a mistake, we should not keep reminding the person of that mistake. You know, it's, it's like this. If you forgive a person, mm -hmm. but you hang on to the anger, yeah. the pain, and the hurt, and you say you forgave the person, then you don't understand what forgiveness really is. Because she said it right. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. Mm -hmm. What you don't understand about not experiencing True forgiveness, yeah. not letting it go, was explained to me this way. When you don't forgive a person, it's like you drinking the poison, waiting on them to die. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's a good one. For lunch today, our menu will be chicken nuggets or fish nuggets, roasted potatoes, baked beans, and applesauce. Or you could choose a PB&J grab and go or a grilled chicken salad. SCA students who plan on going on the field trip to Faith Fellowship Church on March 11th should pick up a permission slip form from their homeroom teacher and return the signed form to Coach Clark no later than Wednesday morning at the SCA meeting. Students will leave WMS at 11.50 on the 11th and will enjoy lunch and a movie before returning to the middle school at 2.30. Just a reminder to check out the latest Crow's Nest bloopers on YouTube or on your Haiku page. It's National Sleep Week, an event that seeks to remind us that we need adequate sleep each night to maintain overall health and a well-being. Did you know that most kids your age get an average of seven to seven and a half hours of sleep, but you actually need nine to nine and a half hours to function at your best? Let's take a look at the importance of getting your Z's. Sleep is one of our body's strongest allies. It can lift your mood, improve thinking and memory, lower stress and blood pressure, and help boost your immune system. That's quite a lot of benefit considering you don't have to lift a finger. So how do you know if you're getting enough sleep? Adults should be sleeping seven to nine hours every night, while teenagers need slightly more at around eight to 10 hours a night. And if you're having trouble sleeping, it can take its toll on multiple aspects of your life. Sleep is critical to your mind's ability to form and consolidate memories. A lack of sleep can also limit your creativity and your problem-solving ability, which could hurt your work performance. Without adequate sleep, you may feel irritable or not yourself, as sleep helps with mood and emotion regulation. Stress hormones released when you don't get enough sleep can break down collagen in your skin, leading to looking prematurely aged. You might also find yourself craving high-fat, high-carbohydrate foods when you're sleep-deprived. And did you know that not getting enough sleep can also lead to more serious health problems, like high blood pressure, or even increasing your chances of developing cardiovascular disease? So make sure you get enough sleep each night. It's more important than you may think. The Crow's Nest would like to wish a very happy birthday today to Kane Hendricks. Enjoy your special day. Best of you from the Crow's Nest. Make it a great week.